you really think this lifestyle doesn't work? Eating a whole foods, plant-based lifestyle, eating predominantly plants to sustain the body? If you really think this doesn't work, hear me out. If you're a skeptic and if you're like, God, I know it works, but I just don't wanna do it at this point in time. I'm not ready. That's fine. Max, knock it off. <laughs> Let's bring this a little bit closer. Look, I'm not a big fan of this style of evidence. This, if it happened to me, it must be true. It must work. Not the best style of evidence, but look around for a second. I'm just thinking off the top of my head of a few people who represent this lifestyle very well, who are not only living, but are thriving and thriving as, let's say, athletes. And if we can, if we can say that athletes have the most stresses put onto their body, compared to anyone. Can we say that? Let's take, for example, Rich Roll. He completed five full Ironman distance workouts in seven days on a plant-based lifestyle. Seemed to work for him. Scott Jurek, ultra distance runner, just broke the record for the Appalachian Trail. Seemed to work for him. Although I don't watch him a whole lot anymore, Durian Rider, seems to work for him. I know that he's gone for the Strava, uh, the most most distance ridden in a certain month, and he's won it before. Seems to work for him fine, and let me pull myself into this too a little bit. I am not anywhere near the level that those guys are, but I'm still a competitive athlete, competitive cyclist. I'm lean. I'm not wasting away. I have not had an overuse injury since becoming plant-based. So don't you think if there's some sort of, let's say, protein deficiency from eating this lifestyle, I would have an overuse injury? My muscles would be, would be breaking down faster than my body can build them up? So my point here, guys, is have you, it works. It works. And I think an important distinction here is to say it works on a physiologic level, but it may not work for you on sort of a, a, a personal level. It may not fit into your lifestyle at this point in time. And that's fine. That's fine. There are some people out there in this lifestyle who are promoting this, this way of eating that really shove it down your throat. And I don't like that. My mentality is more of Look, here's the evidence, here's the lifestyle. I'm open to any questions or comments. Take it or leave it. I'm not shoving it. I don't want to shove it down your throat, guys. That's, in my opinion, from my experience, from my 28 years living on this planet, that's not the way that you change behavior, is shoving it down people's throats. At least that's not the way I'm comfortable with it. This lifestyle works on a physiologic level. It works. It may not work for you and you're, you know, for take small steps. If you're like, if you, if you're like, yes, I know. If you're a skeptic and if you're like, God, I know it works, but I just don't want to do it at this point in time. I'm not ready. That's fine. That's fine. Take small steps when you're ready. Some people can take the big leap and do it in cold turkey, no animal products, no meat, no dairy, no processed foods overnight. Great, more power to you. Again, my philosophy, I don't think that that is the best way to go about it. I don't think that's the most sustainable way to go about it. I think it's small changes, alter your lifestyle in small ways over time, get used to it, get comfortable with it, learn about it, and then once you've mastered that small little step over the course of a couple weeks or even a couple months, move on to the next step, become a little bit healthier. So if you're a skeptic of this lifestyle and it just doesn't fit in with the way you're living right now, that's fine. Change your lifestyle when you are ready. But guys, the argument that you're not getting enough protein, you're not getting enough 
vitamins or minerals. You're not getting enough, I don't know, iron. What else is calcium? You're not getting, what else? What else? All the stuff that you get from animal products, you're not getting enough of, because, so you need to eat animal products. It's bull. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Visit my website for more information on personal health coaching, public speaking, and my health journey. Let's get healthier together. Thanks for watching.